assalamu alaikum welcome to best solution line uh, this new tutorial of gis uh, is about uh, how to reclassify dem digital elevation model ideas uh, assortium data and how to create a share file from dem so it is very easy method and uh, you can uh, see now that uh, Hmm, how to reclassify them file so go to add data and uh, add uh, some file which is a certain file this is the uh, one of data okay so this is a certain data and this is the uh, dem file digital elevation model okay so mm, go to a certain properties and uh, go to uh, classify it okay so now uh, these are five classification so this is okay and uh, uh, for uh, label click uh, format labels and click number of decimals uh, so decrease this okay that is a uh, one okay so apply and okay now this is a classified data and uh, you can change the color of this but uh, we mm, now after this uh, uh, go to reclassification okay so go to arc toolbox okay and uh, go to um, special analyst tool okay and click here reclass okay click reclass and then reclassify okay so click here and now go to this us uh, srtm one file okay and uh, this is your reclassified one two three four five this is all values and this is a new values okay so this is a, a reclassification and uh, why you re uh, reclassify this uh, because uh, in previous uh, srtm file there is no uh, attribute table and if you, you reclassify this uh, so you can see the attribute table and you can uh, calculate different uh, things that uh, from that table okay so now you can see that the reclassify is a start okay and uh, this uh, is a new reclassification this is raster data so convert this raster data to polygon uh, to create a shape file okay so go to our toolbox and then conversion tool and in conversion tool click uh, from raster and from raster mm, raster to polygon okay from raster raster to polygon click here and uh, input raster you uh, your that is a reclass diff okay and uh, this is uh, now you can see this will be uh, raster to polygon okay now you can see that these are the polygon data and this is the shape file but these shape files are uh, combined okay so there is no uh, difference uh, of classification uh, so uh, now for uh, to create different uh, uh, shape files there will be five shape files so go to this raster data and click open attribute table okay open attribute table and uh, here you can see different uh, uh, grid code three two one and four and five because these are uh, the classification uh, here are that uh, is a five classification so the grid code is also from one to five okay now uh, select uh, grid code one okay so go to select by attribute like here 
and the grid code is from 1 to 5 so click grid code is equal to 1 so only uh, um, the grid code which is equal to 1 that will be selected okay apply now you can see here in table that which is one data so data as a selected okay now go to this uh, raster reclass and uh, click here and data and export data okay so this is selected features which is a grid code one so okay so uh, uh, give name this is a for example this is a shape one shape one okay so this is your now you can see here in table of contents that is shape file one and this is of creator code one okay now for uh, grid code two go to select by attribute and and here change this one to two okay apply and close this and go to reclass uh, raster to reclass data and then data then export it and then this is a selected feature of grader uh, code 2 okay so uh, I'll change this name for example this is a shape pro shape 2 okay so now you can see in table of contents that is shape file 2 now go to this uh, attribute table and select by attribute and change this 2 to 3 ok apply and close now click cluster to reclass data data and export data export data now you can see here the selected features and this is a uh, the third uh, shape file okay so shape file 3 shape 3 okay now go to okay now go to grid code 4 apply and close and raster to reclass export data okay and this is the now the selected features of grid code 4 so shape and four okay now again go to celebrate uh, select by attribute and uh, change this four to five and apply and close now go to here and export data and uh, this is a uh, the selected feature of greater code five okay so this is a shape five okay yes now you can see here the different shape files okay uh, if you off this here and now you can see here this is a so change this color uh, and this is for example this is a orange color okay so now this is the basin and this is the river so this is the for example this is the blue color okay and uh, other shape files have also different color so this is a green okay and the third is a oh, this is okay and uh, this is a about uh, this color okay 
Enter. File is a change color. So this is a, for example, this is a red. Okay. So now you can see that this shape file one is the lowest range of uh, in this dim file and this show, show the low elevation and which is uh, from 339 to 622.5 okay and the second class that is a shape file 2 which is a green color this is the uh, that area uh, having elevation uh, uh, from 60 uh, 622.6 to 857.5 okay and the third color uh, shape 3 this area is a uh, this area have the uh, elevation of uh, uh, 857.6 to 1085.7 okay and at uh, shape file 4 the elevation is from 1085.8 to 1396.8 and and last that is a red color that is the most uh, high elevated area and that is from 13 and 6.9 to 2102 okay so this is the different uh, shape path and you can off this is off off and off and off and okay so this is the lowest range in this dem file and this is the low elevation area and after this is the uh, um, the high elevation and after that is this is the high elevated and this is a high elevated and this is most high elevated area okay so this is the creation of a shape file so from dem file okay so um, hope you will learn this uh, and uh, this is very easy method and not difficult okay so for new tutorial uh, you must uh, subscribe my channel which is a best uh, solution line okay thank you